Good day and welcome to Frontline Business. I'm Cody Ann Barrett. In business news today, as a debate on the government's $803 billion budget continues in the House of Representatives, a trade unionist says public sector workers are not likely to benefit much from the government's spend in the 2019-2020 fiscal year. We get more from Kimberly Broderick. Head of the Jamaica Confederation of Trade Unions, Helene Davis-White, says she was expecting more benefits in the recently tabled budget. From the point of view of, of public sector workers in particular who have been undergoing these periods of sacrifice, one had hoped that um, we would begin to see um, the government taking into account those things that um, directly affect um, workers, the ordinary man in the street. So we were looking at more on the capital side, certainly, um, in terms of workers being able to access benefits. In the meantime, Mrs. Davis White says the 2019 2020 budget does not provide hope for much changes in the economy during the new financial year. I, I don't expect much to change. In fact, um, one of the areas of concerns for us, and this is one of the reasons also why we would have wanted more in terms of the capital um, side of the budget, we're looking at economic growth. And for many of us, I mean, we bought into the notion that, um, you know, if you grew the pie, then you'd have more to get. Kimberly Broderick, Frontline Business. Co-chair of the Economic Program Oversight Committee, EPOC, Keith Duncan, says there are some opportunities for small businesses to grow which remain untapped. He says achieving the kind of growth Jamaica needs will require more firms to tap into these areas. Jamaica needs to get on board, understand where the opportunities are being created in logistics, downstream, value added, BPOs, etc. They are real opportunities. And we're encouraging um, you know, um, you know, small, medium enterprises to look how they can participate in that value chain, in that supply chain to support this area of growth. These are opportunities that are being created. Jamaica is poised, but the only way to get the growth is if people invest. So that's why we speak to private sector credit increasing and increasing to businesses by like 17% up to November 2018, year over year. It's important that the private sector take advantage of the opportunities. That private sector, we don't mean big businessmen, we mean everybody, micro, small, medium enterprises, everybody, their opportunities are there for the taking. In Monday's trading session, the JSC combined index declined by 592 points to close at over 380,000. Overall market activity resulted from trading in 66 stocks of which 28 advanced, 27 declined, and 11 traded firm. The Juno Market Index advanced by 31 points to close at 3,094. Stocks advanced for AMG Packaging and Paper, Berger Paints, Caribbean Cement, Caribbean Producers, and Carreras Limited. Stocks declined for Barita Investments, Caribbean Cream, Caribbean Flavors and Fragrances, Sibony Group, and Dermon Trading. Trading firm were Epley Limited, Express Catering, GUS Corporation Limited, Jetcon Corporation, and JMMB Group. Kingston Properties Limited was the volume leader with over 18 million units, followed by Sadricor Real Estate X Fund with over 15 million units, and Cygnus Credit Investments with over 5 million units. And in news in oil, oil prices rose 1% on Monday, lifted by comments from Saudi Energy Minister Khalid Al-Fali that an end to OPEC-led supply cuts was unlikely before June. Brent crude futures were up 65 cents or 1% to $66.39 a barrel. U.S. West Texas Intermediate WTI crude futures rose 52 cents or 0.9% to $56.59 a barrel. And that's it for Frontline Business. I'm Cody Ann Barrett. Pleasant viewing.